Uh, the next one's from. Uh, who's the next one from here? The next one's from Polly Esther. Whoa. Oh, Christ. Welcome Evil back. Taylor. Um, evening, gentlemen. I'd like to start my email with a shout out to my fellow NWO brethren. Hello, Durbin, Huji, and Feeney. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, MW, excuse me. I misspelled that. So, yeah. So, are you in the Mark World Order, Joe? I mean, I, I, he's I, the you are president leader, but... and vice president, if... secretary, and treasurer, and, if... and sergeant at arms. Owner. And owner. Trainer. I don't recall. <laughs> <And> trainer. Uh... <laughs> There hasn't been an induction ceremony Mark for polyester, as far as I know. <laughs> um, it's, it's Polly. And a special shout-out to Conan for putting a strapping collection of men in the organization. What up, Doe, Conan? Oh. Now that the salutations are out of the way, yeah. <laughs> on to the question. Last week, some wrestler from New Japan was seen wrestling even after an obvious concussion. Some of what you guys deem as, quote, wrestling journalists, unquote, brush it off by saying he was okay and basically took the, um, the quote-unquote, nothing-to-see-her approach. Just further evidence is these imbeciles are nothing but glorified fanboys. They predict, critique, review the product, and have some stooges behind the scenes that give them dirt from time to time with the build and condition that they're put over. When actual, when actual news stories are presented, they're nowhere to be found. Can we just call these people for what they are? People that love wrestling so much, they know the history, that's it. Not journalists, just glorified marks with a cult-like following. Keep up the great work, Conan and Mr. Feeney. You two guys do a bang-up job. Polyester, the evil tailor... P.S. I think the purge was the best thing, and I'm requesting to remain blocked by Disco. No, the, the, if you actually think that I'm going to unblock you because <laughs> you rec- you're, you put in a request and trying to swerve you like that, you're out of your freaking mind. He you tried, will remain blocked. He tried the okay? reverse psychology so, on you. It's, it's not. I mean, I could see. It, you, could you see that a million miles away too, Conan? Like you know, right? <laughs> like, yeah, I, right. This this idiot thinks this idiot thinks because I don't take requests. He's requesting to stay blocked. Um, did you see Wait the minute? Did, 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 huh? Could you see the Kenta thing? We got knocked out. No, uh, I don't think okay. so. Yeah, I'm he watching took, it now. Oh he shit! He, yeah. took a, he took a German suplex and knocked him silly. Oh man! And literally, he's out of it. And like they're they're kind of like, and you can tell he's out of it. And the guy he's wrestling is an idiot, and the referee is an idiot because it's painfully obvious he's completely out of it to the point where they're tr- he's trying to like go into the ropes and, and the guy's coming to him for a power slam, and he's like, I think I'm supposed to do a power slam, but he just like. It's so like out of it and jelly, like his he's, his body's just like jello. Yeah. He's just like kind of puts him in the power slam position and kind of collapses, and he's just completely out of it. And like supposedly that I just saw that clip. Supposedly they kept the match going, and the guy took like thirty seven more strikes to the head during the match. And it's like you know, and, and so so here's that I talked about this on Vince's show. If you watch this and you're a journalist, okay, and if this was any other sport besides. If it was football, babe, any any athletic competition, there was a televised athletic competition. Anybody watching this would have been completely outraged. Yeah. They'd be like, "There's no way. You, how could they let that happen?" They'd be, "I go, but because it's wrestling, and we're kind of inside the wrestling bubble, it's like that. There's there hasn't been any honest coverage of this. And supposedly Meltzer's report was that the next day, like, oh, 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 he's okay. And it's like you're looking at it, going like, "Wait a second. This if you're if you're if, if as a journalist you're buying that they're telling you that he's okay." You got to be an idiot because I was saying I would bet a year's pay if you watch this Conan, I would yeah. bet a year's pay that if you took had gave me an independent neurologist and went and examined that guy, he would say this guy's concussed. He can't. He, he's out for a, a, a minimum of a week. Do you uh, put him in a concussion protocol? Called two. Do, yeah, that's that's and like you, you you would any sensible person would look at that and say this guy got effed up. Do you want to look at it real quick? Why don't you be able to show it and you tell me what you think, Conan? And you tell me that, that seriously, the, the coverage of this is like nothing to see here. The guy's okay. Okay, can you see this? Here we go. Here's where he gets some cuss from right here. Oh, man. He should have just pinned him. <laughs> oh, not headbutts. Well, he's not. T- I don't think he's touching him. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mm. How long does this go, Joe? It's another couple minutes, but you got. You want to. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Yeah. Mm. But, like, okay. Well, how much did you bet that guy got concussed? Well, 100%. And, so, and like, there's, <laughs> they said, oh, he's fine. After the match, I just think they, 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 that match, that match just the just the fact that he was still somewhat remembering his high spot, right, might have been enough for the Japanese to go, "Well, he's okay in that type of culture." Right, right. And that, and that cult, right, when in he, that culture. He's, that's exactly when he's it. obviously fucked up, bro. Yeah. You know, yeah. And I've and I've seen this. I'm not gonna say where, but I've seen this already, which disturbs me. Where they'll be like, uh, "Where's a guy's been concussed in the ring." 
And you're like, um, bro, this guy just got a major concussion, and I think you should send him to the hospital. And they'll go over to him, and they'll go, hey, man, how you feeling? He goes, yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, he says he's all right. What do you want him to say, bro? Right. Exactly. That's okay. Yeah. Bro, that's why NFL has CTE. It's just because the guys, yeah. there was a culture of right. like, and we, but the thing is, we know today you're not supposed to do that. Right. It's, it's just, it's just dumb. But man. What if the guy died on you, bro? Now it's in your hands. You have litigation. You have your name is smeared and you have it on your conscience. You know what I'm yep. saying? Exactly. 